Today's lesson, we are going to use the percent proportion, which we have been learning about, to solve percent word problems. Step one, we're going to write the percent proportion, and then step two, we're going to solve for the missing information. Ted's Toys sold 75% of its stock of stuffed animals on Saturday. If Ted's Toys had 620 originally in stock, how many were sold on Saturday? So let's look at this for our information. We know we're looking for a percent, a part, or a total here. Well, in the first sentence, I see that we have that they sold 75%. So this is going to be my percent. And then, Ted's Toys had 620 stuffed animals originally in stock. We have to know how many of those were sold on Saturday. So our total is 620. They had a total of 620 stuffed animals in stock, and we have to find what part of that 620 were sold on Saturday. Now that we know our key information, we can go ahead and set up our proportion. So, draw our two fraction bars and set them equal to each other, and I'm going to automatically put 100 at the bottom of the right side. Now I know that above the 100 always goes my percent. So we have 75%. So I'm going to put 75 above the 100. Now part goes over total. Total, we discussed that 620 is our total. So that's going to go on the bottom on the left side. And we have to find out how many for our part. So I'm going to use x for our variable. So this is what we're solving for, is our part in this problem. Now that we have our proportion set up, we can go ahead and use our steps of doing cross multiplication and division to solve for this proportion. So we're going to find our cross products or multiply across. I have 100 times x or 100x equals 620 times 75. Now we can simplify this down. 100x equals 620 times 75. Pull up our calculator here. 620 times 75 gives us 46,500. Now again, to solve for x, we have to divide both sides by this 100. 100 divided by 100 is 1, and I get x equals, zeros cancel out, 465 divided by 1 gives me 465. So, they sold 465 stuffed animals. And that's my final answer. If you have any questions, please give me a call.